My name is Paula Nichols. I'm a senior at Stetson University, and I conducted my senior research on the use of math think alouds in the classroom. I'll be presenting my concept map and V diagram. My concept map begins with think alouds at the top, and think alouds are useful in the mathematics classroom because they require explicit instruction. This is necessary for comprehension and problem solving, and we can see this in heuristic tools. These are things like the concept map and this will thus increase students' authenticity. Think alouds are also useful in the math classroom because they require collaborative discussions. This is among the teacher with the students, just with the students, and um, this is necessary for comprehension and problem solving. You see this in the concept map and it increases their authenticity. It also requires teacher modeling. So a teacher is gonna conduct a problem on the board. They're showing the students what they do which leads into guided practice. The students will next do problems on their own, or with the teacher, um, before they do them on their own. That's the independent practice part. And finally, explicit thinking is one of the main aspects of the Think Aloud model because it causes students to think aloud what is going on inside of their minds as they think through different problems. If you look at the V diagram, it begins with the focus question. That is, can Think Alouds in the math classroom enhance comprehension and problem solving and increase authenticity. The event is that I observed a teacher in a third grade classroom using the Think Aloud discussion model with their classes, um, talking about multiplication, and then I implemented the use of the concept map in a fourth grade classroom. The key concepts that are involved are Think Alouds, mathematics, comprehension, problem solving, explicit instruction, collaborative discussions, teacher modeling, guided practice, independent practice, explicit thinking, heuristic tools, and authenticity. All of these concepts come from the concept map. The theory is that think alouds depend on discourse in the classroom and encourage student interaction. They can incorporate heuristic tools to further mathematical thinking, and like I said, heuristic tools are the use of this concept map. The principles that uphold this theory are Think alouds promote authentic learning by involving discussions and practice which aid in comprehension and require students to use problem solving strategies. This is seen in the data that I gathered from the third grade students and also quotes that you'll see in the research. And the use of heuristic tools allows for teachers to see student understanding and comprehension and increase authentic learning. And by see student understanding, I mean when you look at the concept map, you can see what students are understanding the lesson, what students aren't. So for example, there's a concept map that a student did where she begins with multiplication at the top and stems down and says multiplication can be um, increasing, it can be adding on, it can be doubling, and it cannot be division. Whereas another student sample, had separated out and was creating multiple concept maps, you could really see that the student didn't understand how all the concepts involved in multiplication fit together. And so this is used as a tool for teachers to assess students and also for students to understand and further their thinking on whatever concepts being taught in the classroom at that time. The knowledge claim is that the Think Aloud strategy is a systematic way of enhancing mathematical discussions and they promote comprehension of material and meaningful conversation in the classroom. And finally, the value claim, teachers in elementary school mathematics classes should use think alouds and implement the use of heuristic tools to enhance discussion, increase comprehension, and promote authentic learning.